Good afternoon. I pray all is well. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Minister Arletta Threats, founder of Pearls and Leadership. I just wanted to come to you with a good old, good old, good old word that the Lord has placed in my heart. Um, please excuse the sunglasses. Got a little eye situation going on, but all is well in Jesus' name, and I am healed. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, but I wanted to come to you today because um, the Lord allowed me on this week to have a day off from my uh, full-time job. And um, so I was uh, blessed to have a day off during the week, which I am never able to do because I am so busy at my job um, being in a leadership role. It is hard for me to take time off a lot. So I was able to take the day off and... Um, do some you know go do some appointments i need to fulfill and after that just kind of have a me day and so y'all know i um for those that follow the pearls and leadership on facebook you know i'm very big on taking a me day and, and taking some time for you um which i was able to do um on this week and so i decided to go to the movies which i have not done in some months and i actually went to the movies by myself you know being single you see that? That's the left ring finger. <laughs> it is uh, empty. Um, not that I forgot a ring. I'm just not married. How about that? Um, so I went and had me a little me day at the movies. And so I went and saw the new Idris Elba movie. Um, it's called Mountain Between Us. Ma'am, if you have not seen that movie, you need to go see that movie. When I tell you that movie blessed my whole entire life, and the Lord gave me so many revelations from this movie. Like, you really need to go see this movie. I won't tell you the movie because um, I, I won't spoil it for you. But you need to go see it. Like, it's one of the movies I will go see again. So if anybody wants to go see this movie and needs and wants to take somebody with you, I, I'd be happy to go with you. Just let me know. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I'll tell you the obvious, which is what you've seen on the trailers. Um... Idris Elba meets this young lady in the um, airport and they decide to take a plane together because they have a destination they have to reach. But because of a storm that's going on, they can't take the regular airplane. So they found an airplane that would be able to take them. Come to find out, well, they flow, they flew in the airplane and then they got into an airplane crash. So I won't tell you how that happened because it doesn't reveal it in the trailer, but I won't tell you what happened. Needless to say, they got into a airplane crash crash um on a mountain top come on mountain top all right hallelujah so they have become stranded on this mountain but they did not know how they was going to get down okay so during the duration of them being on this mountain there were times they wanted to quit there were times they wanted to give up there was one that would say, no, we need to stay where we are. And the other one would say, no, we need to go out because somebody will find us. The common ground they had there was somebody will find us. But one wanted to move and one wanted to stay. And so they began to move. Okay. They moved. And everything that you could imagine was coming up against them while they were trying to get to safety. Everything that like like I was like <gasps> I clutched my pearls on a lot of that stuff because it was some serious stuff and so needless to say what God was really showing me in this movie is you can't quit regardless of how high um, on the mountaintop you are you can't quit regardless of how low in the valley you are you cannot quit because there is always going to be a way of escape that God will provide. Is it going to be hard to get to um, that place of safety? Is it going to be hard to get to that destination? It's going to be hard. You're going to find, you're going to battle some, you're going to have some battles that you have to fight along the way. But here is the thing. God said he would never leave you, nor will he forsake you. And so one thing about it, even though one person wanted to quit there was another part they had they had their partner there that said i'm not going to allow you to quit i'm not going to leave you out here by yourself and woman of god i'm telling you today 
I am not going to allow you to quit. I speak life into you. I speak life into your situation. The Bible declares that life and death are in the is in the power of your tongue. And by my faith alone, I just believe that God is going to bring you out. I know times get hard. I know it gets rough. And I know you wonder, when is it going to be your time for deliverance? When is it going to be your time for breakthrough? When is someone come, going to come and save you? Can I just tell you that God is, is, is on the way? Help is here because God is here. And if God is here, help is here. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Woman of God, the Lord is here. But you have to trust that he would not leave you nor forsake you. You have to stand on his word because his word is true. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And the word even says that when God speaks the word, that it has to accomplish everything that it was sent out to do. So whatever the word has been spoken over your life, whatever the word that God has pronounced over your life, I promise you, it shall accomplish everything that it was sent out to do. Like when they was on the mountaintop, Idris and, I'm sorry, I cannot think of that woman's name in, in real life to save my life, but her character's name was Alex. And so as Idris and Alex... We're trying to find a way to get off this mountaintop and get back to safety. You know what they did? They pushed each other. They pushed each other. And at the end, because they didn't quit, they were able to make it off the mountaintop. And y'all just had to know they was going to make it off. So yeah, I just told you, you know, they survived. They did survive. Okay, hallelujah. But it's a, it's a good ending. But anyway, so they survived. And you too. You're going to survive too. You are going to survive. I want you to tell yourself that you're going to survive. Because oftentimes, you know, it gets so rough. And I know, I've been there. Where times get so rough, you don't think you're going to survive. You think at any moment now, you're not going to make it. But guess what? You're not a quitter. And guess what? Quitting is not an option when you are a king's kid. Quitting is not an option when you're God's girl and you are truly God's girl. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus to die for you. So do you not think if he sent his only begotten son to die for you, that he would not rescue you out of your situation? He's going to do it. But not only do you have to trust him, but you cannot quit. The Bible says that in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. And I know this season seems like it's long because of everything you're having to deal with. But guess what? In due season, you shall reap if you don't quit. Not only if you don't quit, but guess what? If you continue to push yourself, if you continue to press, continue to press. I know you want to take a break. I know you want to just stop completely. I know you may want to quit. But guess what? You can't quit. Because just as soon as you quit, God is going to provide what you need him to provide. God is going to deliver the way you need him to deliver. So, woman of God, I just want to motivate you today and let you know you're not a quitter. I just want to let you know that regardless of what the devil puts in your head, regardless of the thoughts that he puts on your mind, you're not a quitter. And you will succeed. And, you know, as I was looking at that movie, The Mountain Between Us, I began to hear my spirit, Ja'Kalen Carr's song, her new song that she just released, You're in the Winning Season. <laughs> when I tell you that was the Lord right there, you are in your winning season. You hear me? Which means you're going to win this. You are going to win, honey, because you're more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror, so you're going to win. So, baby girl, dry up those tears, hold up your head, fix your back, and walk with your head held high because you are in your winning season, and you're going to win this. You are going to win because you know what? At the end of the Bible, it declares us winners in the end. Yes, we have to go through hell and high waters. Yes, we have to go through storms, trials, and tribulations. But in the end, we win. So don't give up. Don't quit. Because you're in your winning season. 
you just have to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is through Christ Jesus. So stay in the press. And no matter what, tell yourself, I'm a winner today. Woman of God, be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. I pray you were encouraged. I pray that as you have watched this video, you receive strength. I pray that as you have watched this video, you felt the life being restored in you to continue to press because God is helping you. God is making a way out of no way. God is supplying every need according to your, his riches and glory. God is doing it. Just trust him to do it. Now faith, which means right now, I believe. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Woman of God, have a wonderful blessed day and we'll see you next time.